So I've been taken to some brothels in my life, and um, brothels is where you find prostitutes. So, um, so here I am, and um, I'm, you know, I've been taken to a few places like this before. Um, when I was in New Jersey, uh, somebody kept taking me to these, uh, you know, strip clubs for lunch. You know, I didn't know any where we were going to these places. So, and when I was in Korea, I was taken into um, what was essentially a, it was a big music club, and I walked in, and these girls are dancing naked, and I'm just like shocked. You know, I mean, I hate to sound so naive, but I'm like, okay. And all these, we sit down at the table. Two girls came immediately over. Oh, they were so friendly, and uh, gee, I wonder why. But. Um, and you know so i was like you know could tell them okay you want you want to go to the back you want to go to the back i said no and that was it suddenly they weren't so friendly anymore um at any rate uh what uh, I, I was in um i was in thailand and and bangkok and um this is the prostitute capital of the world so i was staying right near the uh, the bus station the train station where i got dropped off for the sri holopong hotel at like 10 o'clock at night, 10.30, I was scared out of my mind. I really, I, that was scary. I was uh, not as scary as when I first arrived in New York after this whole trip, but that was a scary thing. I mean, there was nobody around, you know. I was all, all alone in this big, there was just giant kind of square where you would walk into the train station. Well, the, the train station was closed. So at any rate, um, I went to this hotel and they kept coming in and asking me over and over and you, you know during, I stayed there a whole week because I was going to get a, 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 a well I got a airplane ticket that took me from uh, from Bangkok to India uh, where I landed in, in, in Delhi and then I had a flight which I never used to um, to uh, Bum Mumbai but back there was Bombay and then I had a, that flight, then I had a flight to Rome, and then I had a flight to uh, Germany, and then a flight to Paris, and then a flight to London, and then a flight to uh, New York on standby. And I think I told you the story how I s uh, slept a couple days in uh, Heathrow Airport. Well, anyway, so here I am, go back to Bangkok. So I, that's why I was in Bangkok. And um, they're nice people, very nice people, but um, this is prostitutes are everywhere. First of all, if I ever had a prostitute, just look at the guy that the prostitute, this woman, is with now. And just look at this person. Now, do you want to go be the next guy with after this guy? I mean, these people, they were Westerners, so they had money, and they were just the scum of the earth. I mean, you wouldn't want to be anywhere near these people. And um, so I stayed near this train station. I'm, I'm telling you, I had a... They used to make this fried rice, shrimp fried rice. Oh, it was delicious, 50 cents. And they made it right in front of you. So you know you weren't going to get sick or anything. And it was really something. I really I fell in love with this stuff. I had so many dishes of that. And there was a lot of prostitutes. And they always said they were deaf and dumb or they couldn't hear. They didn't have their hearing. And it was maybe because their mother was an alcoholic or a drug addict or something like that. But um, this is what I was always told um, about them. But they wouldn't talk or anything like this. So... Uh, they're always coming by and like, hey, you know, you want to do you want to keep me for a few days? All you got to do is feed me a few dollars a day and, and you got me. And I'm like, no, thanks. Um, never had a prostitute just for the record here. Uh, I'll tell you about some time when they brought me to the brothels in uh, Kolkata and Calcutta. So uh, at any rate, that was another story. But um, and, you know, again, I didn't even know we we're going to brothels. I was like, you know, I'm a, sometimes I'm the most naive person you could ever meet. So at any rate, um, I'm looking at this girl and, and I'm telling her like, hey, you know, uh, she's like, do you, you know, do you want to go up to the room or something? You want to go with me? So I said, no, no. I said, and she was, I'm really hungry. I'm hungry. She's rubbing her belly. I said, okay, let me get, so I bought her this shrimp fried rice. And then, um, you know, at the end of it, she's like, okay, now we're, we're you know, how, how can I pay you? You know, I'm going to pay you with sex. Let's go to your room. And I'm just like, no, that's okay. I don't want anything to do with that. And then I kept going back to the hotel and they, every day they'd say, hello, you, you, do you want a girl? Cause it's full of prostitutes. I'd come out and they're all looking at me like, what, this is the guy that is not taking, what's he doing here in this hotel, Sri Halapung hotel? He should have a prostitute. So, okay. I never had a prostitute. And then, uh, 
you know, the funny part is she, they kept coming in and they said, okay, you want, you want a girl? No. Okay. You don't want a girl? No. You want a boy? You want a boy? No, I don't want a boy. Okay. No, no. Do you want me? This is like the older woman. You want me? You want, you, yeah, well, I, we got anything you want here. I'm like, no. She goes, you're not taking anything? No. Okay. You leave. You must leave. All right. I'll leave. I'll leave. Okay. No, you stay. You stay. <laughs> you don't want a girl? No. <laughs> so that was it. And um, that was my experience, and so that's my experience with the prostitutes, in um, in you know, in in Bangkok. I'll tell you about the story sometime about the prostitutes in, uh, in India. That was actually a funny story, but it's really sad to look at these girls, and you know, uh, don't ever have anything to do with that kind of thing. That's really bad.